No one could describe the events taking place in Tahrir as protests anymore. Egypt's landmark square that hosted both Presidents Mubarak and Morsi is now celebrating. The National Salvation Front, along with the rebellion campaign and the June 30th movements, invited Egyptians for an iftar meal on Friday. Their efforts now is to unite all Egyptian sects together in the square, particularly those who weren't welcome before. We want the people to feel that there is security and that the police is protecting them. The only thing that Mohamed Morsi did is that he united the police and the people together. Since the 25th of January revolution broke, I couldn't stand here in Tahrir Square. Many were keen to participate. Parents took their kids to enjoy the music, fireworks and famous Egyptian snacks. Even people with disabilities joined. I want to support the legitimacy of the people, not Morsi's. His legitimacy failed with the people. The numbers of pro-Morsi rallies this Friday were much bigger. Muslim Brotherhood leaders invited all their supporters across the country to their main protesting area at Rabah Square, all demanding Morsi's return to power. Reporting from Nairobi, I'm Evelyn Musambi.